Thanks, Emma. Um, hello, everyone. Just want to firstly say um, how a, a privilege I am to be here and uh, hopefully shed a bit of light on the, just let you know the good effort you, you are doing um, to get people like me back to work and back to living, everyday living. So as Emma said, um, I had a car accident in 2014 where as a result of the burns, I've lost my, my left hand, my left leg. I'm so lucky I was right-handed. Um, I'm all right now. <laughs> it's a dad joke, sorry. Um, but I always had the, the, the attitude that I was going to get back to, to work, uh, back to being a family man, get back to with my, with, with my uh, kids at home. Um, 2014, in uh, March 14, it was when the accident, no, March 27th, when the accident happened. And I spent seven weeks in a coma. I said to the doctor, I said, um, once I come to, I said, how long have I stayed here? He said, oh, mate, you've probably been here till Christmas. If you're lucky, we'll let you out for a week over Christmas. Um, and then you'll have to come back. It could be another six months, months after that. I looked at him, I said, mate, it's my son's birthday on the 17th. Is that right? The 12th. <laughs> it's my wife there. <laughs> She's <laughs> prompting me. On the 12th of September, and uh, I said, I guarantee I'll be home for his birthday. And as he walked out the room, he looked at my wife, he said, um, you want to come up with some more realistic goals? Your husband has to, you know. And evidently, I got home on, uh, I think I walked out of hospital on the 1st of August. So I actually spent about uh, 20, 17 weeks in hospital. Um, all because... I've got to give a bit of credit here to eye care. Uh, the, the care, I've obviously been accepted with eye care. The care they gave me, um, also the care from the ICU units in Sydney, but the support I had from everyone around me. And that's a big thing with any injury or disabilities, to have that support. Some people haven't got that support, but to be able to create, that, create a support system from a, a disability scheme um, which I know everyone out there do a good job with. Um, getting back to work was one of my main goals. Uh, I rode a horse seven days a week pretty much, mustering cattle, fencing, cutting timber for fencing. Obviously that was taken away from me. I got offered a job two years ago with an American company um, selling animal supplements. And when I accepted the job, he, when I was going for the job, he said, oh, can you use a com computer? I said, yeah, mate, no worries at all. Little did you know I had no idea. So <laughs> on getting the job, I said to my wife, I said, uh, Karen, show me how to turn this computer on, can you? Because I've got no idea. <laughs> so it didn't take long, and I got in the swing of things. But I always wanted to get back to being around cattle, which is what I've done most of my life. Um, and now I'm back working the sale yards in Dubbo, running part of it. It's, it's very satisfying, I've got to say that, just to get back into that environment that I knew before the accident. Um, as far as NDI, uh, sorry, NDIS, eye care, or, or when I was first accepted, was life, lifetime care, but now it's eye care. What they've done for me, um, well, once I left hospital, I was in, uh, in rehab for, for well, should have been probably 12 months. But I wasn't much of an institution type of fellow. Um, always had that opinion that I'll, I'll get a lot better at home. So after a week of being in, in rehab, I, I got the wheelchair and wheeled around to the nurse's station. I said, I want to see a doctor. She said, what for? I said, well, I'm here to get better. She said, oh, yeah, that's what you're here for. I said, yeah, but I've done no rehab. She said, oh, that'll, that'll come, you know, your first week you settle in, the next week we'll slowly get you into it. I said, right, righto. So into the two, weeks, two days into the, into the second week, I said, uh, that's it, you know, like, um, I've got to go, I'm here to get better. She said, oh, look, just settle down, you know, you're here to get better, you're here to fit in first. So I'd wheel myself around every morning to the gymnasium, sit there looking in the door, and they'd sort of half ignore me. And eventually they, they'd come out and say, what do you want, Jamie? I said, look, I want to get in here and do some fitness. You know, I want to get strength and get home again. Look, it's not your time. Um, a couple of weeks, you'll be in here. So at the end of the second week, I had enough. I said, no, that's it. Went, went and saw the doctors again. I said, mate, I'm here to get better. 
it's not, it's not happening for me, I'm, I'm going to sign out and go. He said, no, he laughed at me, you can't do that. I said, watch me. He said, look, mate, he said, settle down. He said, give yourself another week, we'll start getting you, get you into to, to physio and you can get the ball rolling. So the next half a week, I did uh, two 15-minute periods. It wasn't enough. So the next time the doctor came in, it was two and a half weeks, I was there, I said, mate, uh, I want to sign out and get out of here. He said, same thing, laugh. He said, no, you can't do that. But what I was getting at with uh, eye care, my wife had the initiative to have yarn to the, the, the people in charge, my case manager. And she, between my wife and, and the case manager, we set up all these other, um, all other specialists outside of the rehab. So I was in the position to be able to leave and get back home. Um, it was quite a few trips to Sydney over, over a month, every month, you know, maybe, maybe uh, a day a week. We're travelling to Sydney out of Dubbo just to see a specialist. But I had a physio line up in Dubbo, so it was just a matter of me going in there, half hour trip into town. It was three times a week there for a bit, which was more suited me for an you know, hour and sometimes two hour sessions. Um, so we're very lucky to have the opportunity. So what I'm, actually what I'm getting at here is, um, if, was, if you want to take a bit of advice from a common fellow like me, is I really think, have a bit of flexibility. Um, I know we've got our guidelines. This is how, this is the rules, regulations, how it works, but not everyone can fit into that. Been able to just bend the rules a little bit or be a bit flexible, you know, like um, for me to have the opportunity to, to get back home, back to the, the environment, environment I knew, I was more comfortable with, more satisfied, and be able to push myself that, that bit further um, and have a physio behind me to push myself that bit further as well. Actually got me back to work quicker, um, back on the horse. The doctors told me I'd never ride a horse again. It was always my attitude was, no, I'm going to ride a horse again. I was never meant to be outside because of my burns and obviously would never get back to work. But just with that help I had behind me and the support, that's what I've managed to do. Um, so. My, my goals now um, is to get back to horse riding at a competitive level. And with the scheme I'm in, they, they give me a, a hell of a lot of support, actually push me toward my, my, my main goals as well. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm so grateful. So grateful for everybody what you do towards your scheme. Um, that's about it. Thank you very much for having me here.